this week I would like to bring you a quick update on where we are at with the amnesty petition. The petition is being discussed in Parliament following 100,000 um, signatures asking for an amnesty for undocumented migrants. I am Carisha Turner, your human rights barrister on Carisha Law. COVID-19 has added to the amnesty petition argument uh, because the figures now show that undocumented migrants are less likely to get vaccinated. Um, the petition itself um, asks for a blanket amnesty for anyone with no criminal records. One of the issues um, that the speakers encountered is that the petition is asking for a blanket uh, amnesty, so it does not draw the line um, between somebody who's been here for, say, five years or someone who's just arrived by boat last week. This remains a problem uh, because, quite frankly, there is um, there is a difference between um someone who has extensive roots um, in the UK and or have a family here but has no documents or someone who's been here for only a week, for example. The debate um, focused on the different categories um, um, of undocumented migrants. For example, there are genuine migrants and um, they accepted that. Um, there are those who've had dodgy immigration advice. And then there are those who had leave, previously had leave, but overstayed and their leave have expired. Um, the members who contributed to the debate all agreed that most undocumented migrants are working illegally so it might be a good um a good idea to legalize their stay and allow them to work um lawfully since we are in great need of workers in the uk the debate also um was about whether there should be a blanket amnesty or it should be done on a case to case basis. Uh, one of the contributors said that um, the debate, uh, the, 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 peti the petition itself was not focused enough. Um, figures have shown um, that 82% of migrants um, who entered the UK um, entered the UK lawfully and somehow after a while fell out of status. Unlike what the press or the government says, it isn't true to say that our borders are being flooded by people who come here with no papers or no documents at all. So, um, suffice to say that the debate is ongoing. Uh, it would perhaps have helped if we had a more focused petition, uh, but that should not detract from the fact that there are migrants who've been here for a long time and all they want to do is be able to contribute um, uh, to society. I think it's sensible to have the debate. I also think uh, an amnesty is needed uh, for those who've been here for a long time. Um, it is not helped by a broken system and the hostile environment, but I hope we remember that 82% of migrants come here lawfully. Um, and so the government um, cannot ignore this. Uh, what I will say is, um, let's not give up. Um, there are lots of people who are vulnerable, but also there are those who are here with skills and could contribute to society. Thank you um, for watching Carisha Law. I hope you found this video helpful.